So you wanna know the top five reasons that people are moving to Bellevue, Washington? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about exactly that. It's Justin Gazaba, and this is Living and Moving to Seattle, Washington. But in this video, we're talking about Bellevue, the top five reasons. So if you're looking to know everything that you need to know about living, working, eating, sleeping, playing uh, in Bellevue, Washington, well, this is the video for that. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments what kind of videos you're, you're or what kind of questions you have. We want to make videos that help you guys out the most. On this channel, go ahead and like, subscribe, sign up to the channel. We're dropping videos every week that talk about living here in Seattle, working here in Seattle, uh, the Seattle, Bellevue, Kirkland, Redmond, Greater Puget Sound area. Uh, and we want to hear from you and stay in touch. Uh, people are reaching out to us all the time looking for uh, to make the move out this way because it's beautiful out here in the Pacific Northwest and we've got a strong economy. It's a great place people always want to come out to. If you're thinking about making a move, just hit us up, shoot us a text, give me a call, schedule a call with us. We can get uh, an in-person call going and chat with you and see what makes sense to you. So really appreciate that and uh, let's jump into it right now. In this video, like I said, we're gonna talk about the top five things that are making Bellevue great, why people are flocking to Bellevue. It's one of the most uh, popular cities in America, one of the nicest cities in our area, and has truly, truly, truly just has a lot to offer. So I've got my notes up over here because I don't wanna miss anything, but let's start this off. So if you're not familiar with the geography of Bellevue, it's a, uh, uh, suburb of Seattle. It is just east of uh, Lake Washington over the 520 bridge or the I-90 bridge to get there. Go over there. It's an independent city of, of Seattle here and uh, has a lot, a lot going for it. Uh, coming in on top of the list is really the Bellevue and Lake Washington schools. So the Bellevue area shares uh, most of the schools go, you're going to go to the Bellevue School District, which is a, um, a number two in kind of the, the number two rated school district in the area. And that's going to cover most of Bellevue. There's even parts of Issaquah uh, that go into the Bellevue School District. What's crazy though is the Issaquah School District is actually really good too. So if you live down in Renton, there's parts of Renton that go to the Issaquah School District. So uh, you really can't lose on the east side with schools. Even here in, in Washington, in the Seattle Metro, um, we have some of the high, most highly rated schools in the nation. I think we've got like three or four of them that are, are, are top rated schools. Uh, so Bellevue is gonna give you that, like I said, it's number two on the list. Uh, Lake Washington, which is gonna be your more northern Bellevue, you uh, as you work your way up into uh, Kirkland and, and some of those uh, cities just north of Bellevue that's gonna be the Lake Washington School District which is rated number four I know it's crazy to think about you know oh it's rated number four it's not it's not number two uh, but that's pretty high on the list you know uh, top five top four schools right there number two and number four right there on the east side and obviously there's a, a lot of, there's a few charter schools and there's some private schools there's a lot of folks that will uh, get their kids into Lakeside which is actually over here in Seattle and they will uh, bust their kids themselves uh, over to Lakeside so uh, really great schools really good opportunity for education it's it's uh, um, you know one of those areas where we see a lot of people flocking to or trying to get into the Bellevue area because the schools are so great uh, it's very very uh, sought after for the school districts, which is which says a lot about what's going on there. The number four reason uh, that uh, uh, to move to Bellevue is that we see, you know, Seattle for the longest time has been that urban center and has been the the city. And Bellevue as a suburb has grown steadily and more steadily. And it used to be really difficult for recruiters of businesses in Bellevue to get top talent to come over to Bellevue. But in the last decade or so, we have seen so many new businesses 
move offices over to Bellevue. Uh, we've seen Amazon move over there. We've seen Meta and Facebook move there. Uh, close between, you know, um, SpaceX is, is somewhere between Bellevue and Redmond. They're very close together. Um, who else is there? there there's, there's a lot of tech workers um, and tech companies that are, that are in Bellevue that have made it really come up in the last little while. And because of all those workers, because of that, the, the, the people that have, have flocked over there, we see a lot of um, support businesses, restaurants and you know, lunch spots, coffee shops and uh, all kinds of stuff. And obviously there's a few, a few things in Bellevue that uh, um, insofar as shopping and the availability to do that, well, that's where we see uh, the Braeburn. They've got Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Prada, uh, a lot of other high-end shops like that. There's other shops in Bellevue. Uh, Neiman Marcus is in Bellevue. There's a lot of great other um, you know, Nordstrom is there and, and a lot of great shops there. Uh, the reason I bring up, you know, this as, as number four is because it really is a different city. There's a different city council. Um, because of this, you know, because of the different city council, a lot of them have, you know, not to get political, but it's, it's, they've had more of a conservative outlook on how they've done things over in Bellevue. When you go there, you can feel how different it is. And if you know people from Bellevue, um, you know, the streets are a little bit cleaner. They don't have as much of an issue or, or at least a visible issue with homeless, homelessness as we do here in Seattle. Um, and so there's, there's just a different, uh, a different atmosphere. For the longest time, Bellevue had been a little stiff, a little corporate and, and, and pretty boring. Um, it came out of, you know, there was a lot of gentlemen farmers and horse ranches. There's a neighborhood called Bridal Trails, which is a beautiful neighborhood. Uh, but they, you know, they were a equestrian community. And, and that's really where, it, you know, the, long, the old joke is that, uh, you know, Bellevue's where people from Seattle go to go camping. Uh, but since then, it has grown into uh, a real, real of its own city with a nightlife, with, with arts and culture, and, and uh, uh, um, has some of the more, you know, uh, stately homes and larger homes than here in Seattle. And that brings us into number three. So in Seattle, Seattle, the turn of the century city, right? So we're gonna see 1910s, 20s, 30s homes. And so in Bellevue, we see a few 1930s, a few 1940s, but it's really the 1950s where Bellevue starts to shine. And we start to see a lot of new homes, a lot of homes built in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. So as you know, sometimes I explain it as concentric rings uh, on a tree. If, if, the, uh, if Seattle's the core, the further uh, out you get, you know, the, the years, the homes get newer and newer. So Bellevue really had its heyday uh, as being a place that people would move to in the suburbs in the 1950s, which makes sense, right? Because that is the era of the suburb of the American dream, the 1950s, and it is alive and well over there. So you will see newer, larger homes, um, you know, considering, uh, you know, aside from Seattle, right? Starting in the 1950s on bigger lots. Uh, so if that's something that you're looking for on the east side, Bellevue, even you know, into Kirkland, Juanita, uh, Totem Lake. That's the type of home that you're going to find over there as we as we move out and away from Seattle. So, you know, you got to remember that Seattle was a turn of the century city, right? So number two on the list, I alluded to it back in number four when we talked about the different city council, uh, just the, the, the difference in the way that uh, Bellevue was developed and um, how it came of age, you know, through the 50s. And you know, with the shopping and everything else, they, they definitely have more of a, what feels like a plan for their development over there. And one of the things that, that is striking, is absolutely striking, is that when you are in the core of Seattle, when you are you know, going north and south in Seattle, so if you leave that, you know, that Pioneer Square, that Belltown, that uh, tourist district down by Pike Place Market, if you are in that area, you're gonna see obvious signs of homelessness. As you come out even north and south, you make your way up into uh, Fremont and Ballard, you're gonna see obvious signs of homelessness. When you go down into 
um, you know, uh, West Seattle and, and, and those areas, you'll see some obvious signs of homelessness, right? Even Columbia City, Rainier Beach, those areas. But when you go to Bellevue, you just don't really see that. Uh, like I said earlier, the streets are a little bit cleaner. Uh, you don't really see obvious signs of homelessness. I don't know what they're doing that's different. I don't know what the city council is doing. I don't know what laws that they've passed. I don't know because you would think that, you know, homelessness is a crisis that everyone is ex experiencing, whether you see it on the streets or, 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 or whatnot. But over there, you just don't see it. You just don't. And so that's one of the things that, that when we talk to folks who are making the move from Seattle to Bellevue or they're coming to Bellevue, they talk about uh, the, the homelessness. They talk about the safety. They talk about how it just feels, you know, different over there. Now, everybody's tolerance and everything is going to be different, right? Um, I, myself, I live over here in, in Seattle and, um, you know, I, I don't feel unsafe. But that's my experience through me, right? So, but just know that that's, that's kind of what we see out there. That's, that's the difference. And if you come to town, maybe you live in town already, drive back and forth. You know, it's, it's such a hot button issue. So, I'm, I, you know, if anybody is checking out this video and is like, what is he talking about? I, I, can, I can already feel the comments lighting up. So the number one thing I think that uh, uh, is one of the top five reasons, the number one to move over to Bellevue, Washington is that Bellevue really truly has uh, what I would consider to be a business friendly environment. Seattle has often tried to put further taxes, you know, some kind of head tax. Uh, you, you can tell that there's obviously a conflict between business and, and Seattle. You see that with the stories about Amazon and, and the different things. It really comes to a head there, but it hasn't really taken that kind of, that kind of attitude hasn't taken over in Bellevue. And so right now we see, you know, uh, Microsoft headquarters is in Redmond. Uh, but they do have offices right there in Bellevue. Uh, Facebook Meta is over there. Amazon is over there. SpaceX is nearby. T-Mobile is um, their uh, U.S. headquarters. Uh, I believe it's truly in Newcastle, but but they say they're in Bellevue. Um, there might be a you know a mapping error. P A C C A R. I don't know how to pronounce this place. Packar, but it's the design uh, place where they make. Uh, I want to say it's Peterbilt trucks has their their home in in Bellevue. Expedia has their home in Bellevue. They moved from I want to say from Tacoma. I think they were in Tacoma first actually, and then they came to Bellevue. And it sounds like they may be opening an office or moving their headquarters over to Seattle. Um, Offer Up is over there. Um, and those are some of the biggest companies that have space over there. If you're if you're watching this and you're part of a company that that is uh, uh, that I missed or is a big company has a big impact has their headquarters or main office over in Bellevue, let me know down in the comments. I I didn't mean to miss you. I was just trying. There's there's a lot of companies over there, and I wanted to be sure to hit some of the the biggest ones. So as a bonus, because I always like to give some bonuses, uh, Bellevue has a cute little old town. Uh, the old Main Street. They have a great, uh, a few different, a few different really great shopping just districts. Because they came up in the 50s, they do have to fight a little bit of that urban sprawl. So there's some shops out there that don't quite make a lot of sense for walking um, availability. But as there's some infill and some density buildup in town, uh, in around the Bell, uh, excuse me, the Bellevue, Bellevue Towers and and kind of those areas in downtown Bellevue. Um, we're starting to see a lot more, you know, walkability and, and that sort of stuff over there. But they truly do. Maidenbauer Bay, the waterfront, um, it truly is one of the, you know, it's a beautiful area to go to. Uh, the city's laid out really well, easy to get around, good shopping. One of the things that, that always surprises me, you know, they've got a Trader Joe's, but uh, they've got a Walmart too. So, you know, when I, <laughs> when I grew up in Gig Harbor, there was a big fight in Gig Harbor to keep keep Walmart out of Gig Harbor. Um, and, I, and I joke with folks sometimes about how Gig Harbor is where people from Bellevue go to retire. But I just think it's funny that Gig Harbor was able to keep out the, keep out the Walmart, but the, where, where, you know, Bellevue was not. So whatever that's worth. So really appreciate you, you know, I wanna hear from you and, and hear, does this, does this add up? Is, am I missing something? Is there another, is there a better, you know, if we're doing top fives, is there a better reason? To move to Bellevue than what I've got here and if you're considering making that move over to Bellevue 
then reach out to us, shoot us a text, give me a call, um, go ahead and, and, and schedule some time with us. We can get face to face and see what really makes sense for you and, and how we can help you the most. We're always glad to connect. Hope you get a ton of value from this video and uh, we'll look forward to connecting soon. All right, talk to you.